sad of it. Oh. Garbage? Yeah, my goodness. What is this? Like a siphonophore? Yep. Wow. Oh, how cool. What? I mean. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. I can't believe that's a living thing. <laughs> of the body looks different from the latter. So, for those of you viewing, we think this might be a siphonophore. I'm taking like crazy frame grabs right now. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Oops, just putting on the brakes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I bet you that thing would sting bad if you would sting. Uh-huh. If you got touched by that back portion. Yeah. So the siphonophores, if this is what we're seeing, is... How big is it? Do you have any estimation? Maybe about 20 wiffle balls. Yeah. <laughs> 15. Is that what the back end of it's supposed to look like? Or is it hurt? No, I think this is it's this full is wide. supposed to be that way. Wow. That's amazing. I thought it was an old tire. Yeah, I thought it was like a plastic PFC bag or something. Usually, uh, the best known of these siphonophores are the is a what? Portuguese man of war, and that's actually much longer than whatever we're seeing right now. So, oh, the Portuguese men would there. Some of them are not that big. Okay. So I I can read you the description. I'm sure you know the description of the siphonophore, but for the viewers, it's uh, an order of the hydrozoa, which is a class of marine animals belonging to the phylum Cnidaria. And although a siphonophore appears to be a single organism, each specimen is actually a colony composed of many individual animals. Most colonies are long, thin, transparent, pelagic floaters, and some siphonophores superficially resemble jellyfish.